Aleatory shift is a, a principle or it's a dynamic that has been uh, studied for, gosh, at least for the last 20, 25 years now. And what it is, is it's a series of, of research um, done mostly by Marty Hasselton. There's a, a gang's dad. There's a, a few other really uh, prominent um, uh, evolutionary psychologists who have done this work for us. But during the high fertility phase, Women are more interested in alpha masculine dominance, arrogance, uh, with a confident control, so what we were just describing about being an alpha male. Uh, we're lo they're looking for more masculinized features. They're looking for uh, more into short-term breeding. They're also looking for uh, vocal cues um, that for themselves as well as, as their own uh, ways of attracting that. So if you've ever been in a situation where your girlfriend says she wants to go out on a girl's night out, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be in the high fertility phase because they're going out and looking for, uh, looking for a, uh, you know, a sexual opportunity or a breeding opportunity during, the, during this phase. Um, so the follicular phase is defined by an increase in sexual interest in masculinized men uh, with masculinized features. All of these features are testosterone-based, so they're looking for a man with a lower, you know, lower voice, more muscular, uh, squared off jaw, anything that's a masculinized feature during this phase. And this is what I call, like I said, this is what I call the alpha phase right here. Um, they're looking for that V taper, they're looking for that guy who is, you know, has, and this is just presented, you know, we're just talking about um, uh, just visual cues at this stage, okay? Not talking about anything else, because you can, you can be a buff guy. You can, you can look like Ivan here, okay? <laughs> and if your communications or your subcommunications are such that you're effeminate, but you still look like a really buff guy, that's sending conflicting signals. So when we're just talking about visual cues, we're just talking about what the guy looks like, what he sounds like, his physical, his physical presence. Um, now, getting beyond that, there's also a need for masculine dominance during this phase. Um, they're looking for confidence and assurance, uh, confidence as well as assertiveness. Um, pretty much any kind, of, um, any kind of high testosterone cues at that point. Uh, they've done uh, research with women who, when they are in this phase, they can take the t-shirt sweat from guys who, who are one more masculinized and one more, you know, quite not as masculinized. And they will let the women smell these and they will almost always go for the high T guy's shirt as smelling sexier than the other, than the other guys. So there's also an olfactory um, cues that go along with that as well. So the reason for this,